you guys can't see this, but I have this like epic mess down here that's just a ton of bears. Doesn't this look like the face of a serial killer that would skin a bear and try to blend in among the other bears? Hi guys, it's Cloudy. How are you all? Welcome back to another plushie vlog. Today I'm super super excited because I will be sharing one of my biggest plushie collections that I've collected over three years now. And whenever I talk to people, they always tell me that I have like 20 versions of the same plushie, which is not true. So today I'm gonna sit you guys down and run you through all the different designs that have come out in the last couple of years for Life Friends. Life Friends is a collection of characters that came out from the Line app, which is a Japanese chatting app, very, very popular in Asia. And one of the reasons why I really love this plushie is because it comes in so many diverse designs based on whatever country you're in. I think the Line Friends bear is just so derpy and so adorable. You may have seen my giant bear in some of the backgrounds of my previous vlogs. He's very fluffy. And we're gonna be talking about some of the different collections and different releases, as well as different fabrics and designs that came out with Line Friends. Now, because I am moving recently, I do not have all of my seasonal lime bears with me. Certain lime bears came in Christmas themed boxes and I have those ones packed away for now and I have yet to dig them out because all my belongings are packed in a box and we're going to be moving in about a month. So I just wanted to do part one of this vlog to showcase some of the most immediate lime bears that I have in my room. So without further ado, let's get started. The first bear I wanted to showcase is this one. This is the bear that sits on my bed. I only have one or two lion bears that sit on my bed. I actually have asthma and I have really bad allergies, so it's not really good to have my bed filled with a lot of plushies. But this one is the one that I slept with for a really, really long time. He first came out, I believe, in 2019 where Lime Friends was trying to release a bear that was really great for babies. So originally his fur is quite long and very, very soft. But as you can see, because you know I've been hugging him a lot, his fur is a little bit matted, it's a bit flattened. Overall, this is the bear that has gotten the most love from me for the last couple of years. And whenever I have anxiety episodes or I feel really sad, I'm always hugging this bear. So this bear means a lot to me. So as I said, this bear's fur gets really matted easily and he has quite delicate and sensitive fur. So after releasing this one in the baby collection, Lion Friends released this one which is made with a different type of organic fabric. So this bear, they originally made quite fluffy, and this one, they shortened the fur a lot to have a sort of towel texture that you see in a lot of other baby toys. The original bear, they actually spent a little more time creating the front of the face. It's quite three-dimensional. And for this bear, they sort of made him an all-in-one piece kind of bear. So you can see the face is quite flat and the nose is not protruding either. He has really floppy arms and legs and I would say that he's pretty durable compared to this one. I actually have to use a brush to like take care of this bear's fur and also for these kinds of plushies you can't actually throw them into the laundry machines or anything. You have to hand wash them or for me sometimes I put my plushies in the sun and I feel like the sunlight helps to disinfect them since I'm always hugging them. After this bear people realized that the fur from the original bear sold a lot better and they came out with this one. He kind of looks like a pancake on the side. He basically has like no volume. He's pretty flat but his fur is really cutesy and really delicate because by the time they were selling these ones and clearing these out from the store, because people had touched these so much, a lot of the fur had already become shortened and also matted. And so when they were selling these ones, they came out with dust bags for these ones. They were really delicate mesh dust bags that helped protect the fur. I think this one's really adorable because as you can see, he has a really innocent expression. And when you move his fur, he has a really grumpy expression. So I try not to touch this bear a lot because I feel like the sweat or dirt or anything that's on my fingers will affect the quality of this bear. But this is one of my favorite bears. The shape and size and style of this bear led Line Friends to create another one that's actually very similar to it. For example, we have this one. As you can see, they almost look like brothers. This one is from the Japanese Lion Friends store. I had a friend in Japan buy these for me and ship them for me and then I paid her back through PayPal. They are almost identical in size and they have this sort of like gingerbread shape, 
but the fur for Japanese lion bears are a little bit different. You can see he's like a little bit more short furred. It looks a bit like fleece. And he also doesn't have the protruding nose that this bear has. We're gonna come back and take a look at the Japanese lion bears later, but for now I wanted to continue showing one of the original bear designs that are also really popular in Korea. This one is the sitting classic lion bear. He originally came in a box, which I discarded when I was moving back to Canada. As opposed to this one, he has very, very short fur. The fur is almost like non-distinguishable. It almost feels like it's felt and this bear particularly has a lot more of a chubby and properly stuffed body he is very solid and sturdy so for a lot of times i had these kinds of bears sitting on my work desk because they don't have the same sort of like delicate floppy body type that this one has and another one that i have is this one this one i put a ribbon on him but he originally doesn't come with anything at all they are both kind of similar in the sense that they have really short fabrics they have a little bit of a protruding nose and they're also very generously stuffed this bear originally came with a little sleeping bag but i felt like the sleeping bag it was too bright green and it was just getting in the way of this bear's aesthetic. So this bear, I like to carry him around everywhere. When I used to go to galleries by myself, I would bring him along. I named him Travel Bear. The short fur tends to be quite popular in Korea because Korea gets quite humid and also quite damp. These kinds of plushies that have this kind of fur, it's very easy to take care of. Along the same style, we have this one. They are both sitting, but as you can see, the proportions are a little bit different. Line Friends released a series where the original characters, Brown, Coney, and Sally, were shown in baby form. So Baby Brown has a bigger face. His head is kind of shaped like a coconut, and he doesn't have the protruding nose again. He has the extra little hair design, and he has usually kind of small, stubby arms and legs. Whereas the original bear has a sort of warmer brown palette, this one has a cooler toned one. And I also have the little keychain version. I actually have three different versions, but I think the middle size one is at my boyfriend's place. Um, and I just think this series was really, really cute. It only came out for a short amount of time and it sold out pretty quickly, I would say. My friend likes to make a lot of small keychain versions. This is the Korean version and for Japan, we have this version. This one has the warmer brown fur palette. This one has a cooler one. They almost have the same body type and almost the same face shape. And I found it so intriguing that localized in different areas, there were these tiny little details that made them a little bit different. Extra details that make each of the bears kind of unique in their own way. Earlier we talked about the really plush pancake-like bear along with the Japanese one. I also have one that is themed after this base design and it's the Starbucks collaboration one. Now you're probably wondering, Cloudy, why is your Starbucks collaboration bear out of its box in the wild where things could just damage it anytime? Huh? 